Welcome to the Unit Nightly News. I'm Rick Timmis with a special Nightly News update. You may have been wondering what has happened to the Nightly News this week. Well, unfortunately, we got struck down with a dose of the digital gremlins. Our studio workstation suffered a catastrophic disc failure that put us completely out of action. After much work and some tricky head scratching, I am now delighted to say that as of today, we have a completely rebuilt studio computer system. And to all of our subscribers and viewers, please accept my apologies. Now, I have not covered the key news from the website today because I wanted to get across the updates that are coming on stream for 2014. We will be relaunching the nightly news after the Christmas break and our first show will return on Monday the 6th of January and will be available on our website as usual from 8pm or of course you can view it on YouTube or Google+. Social media, we will be launching The Unit on Facebook on January the 6th also and we'll have more about that in our first show of 2014. Also, we're going to be introducing a new domain name. The unit will be rebranding to The Unit UK, and we'll have a number of updates to the website and a new domain name. From 2014, you'll be able to find us at theunituk.com. All the original domains will still work, along with everyone's email addresses as before, but we'd encourage you all to use the new ones, and I will provide the details when we return in 2014. The reason for the change is that many of you have written in to tell us that finding th-eu-nit.com and telling others about it is really difficult. <laughs> well, frankly, we have to agree. Finally, we'll be tackling the relaunch of the Unit UK Critical Thinking in January 2014, and I will have more news on that when we return in the new year also. Now let me leave you with a thought for Christmas. Each year we celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Saviour. Jesus represented all people of the earth, rich or poor, young or old. His teachings were about humility, love, care and kindness for our fellow man. At the temple in Jerusalem, Jesus condemned the money changers, kicking over their tables and casting them out from the market. The rabbis were furious with Jesus, but Jesus was right. The money changers were the bankers of the day. They held the ordinary folk to ransom with their promissory notes and loans with interest. The money changers had strong and deep connections with the rabbis who were the political ruling class of the day. When challenged over his actions, the people scorned Jesus and mocked him, saying, If you are truly the Son of God, then show us, perform a miracle for us. Jesus said to them, Tear down this temple, and I will raise it again in three days. Now there, of course, begins the story of Easter. The point of this tale is that for over 2,000 years, the political class and the bankers have held the people to ransom. The people have been afraid to reach for independent control for fear of ridicule, resentment or punishment. But today we forget, just as those before us, that we the people are the rulers. The political and banking class are our servants, just as the rabbis and money changers were in the days of Jesus. Look to the example that has been shown by the people of Iceland. The money changers cast out the rabbis known as the EU kleptocratic collective banished from the negotiating table indefinitely. And for Christmas this year, the people of Iceland, who have retaken sovereign control of their country and their parliament, have forgiven their countrymen's mortgage debt. Their economy is growing and their people prosper. And why? Because just like Jesus 2,000 years ago, they were not afraid to kick over the tables of the money changers and are not afraid to defy the balmy buffoons in the Babylonian towers of Brussels. 2014 has many possibilities and opportunities for the people of this nation and we are really looking forward to exploring them with you. I'm Rick Timmis reporting for the Unit UK Nightly News. Have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I'll see you soon.